Once the floorboards had been completed and everything was ready to go on the bottom, I had to figure out how to cut the rest of the wood for the benches and the transom and the shelf and all the other pieces that need to be mounted on the inside of the boat. So I didn't really like exactly the shape and the position of some of the old seats. So I used the seats as kind of a template for width and to kind of get an idea of where I wanted to change them but there was some pretty strict limitations about where they could be placed. You can see these three vertical metal risers that are welded into the bottom of the boat. And those are the only vertical supports that will support enough weight for the benches to not bow really badly in the middle. And then on the sides, on the side walls, there's those little plates that are basically an L bracket that are riveted in. And the two L brackets on each side support the ends of the boards and the center of the benches are supported by those vertical risers. So I had to meet those positions, but I kind of changed the shape and changed the width and changed the position of how those benches fit the best I could to get them where I wanted them. And in the back, I measured everything out and designed a new shelf to go on that set of L brackets in the back. And directly above that would be the first part of the three-piece transom in the back. So I laid all that out and then got out my jigsaw. So now there's a pile of sawdust and scraps. So I've been busy this afternoon. That's a four foot by eight foot sheet of five eighths plywood, high quality, that I have now cut into new benches and seats. So over here at the boat, there's a new front deck, middle, and back bench, and a shelf to go into the transom, and a new three-piece transom. So this piece will get screwed in from the inside, these two pieces will get screwed together, and then they'll sit down inside this notch where they can get screwed in from the side, and that'll be all the support for the motor. So I'm to the point now where the only wood that needs to be cut is the handrails and that's going to have to wait till we can steam it. And then we have to do dry fits with all the screws and bolts and get them lined up and drilled so that when we prime and paint those will be sealed too. But the benches are cut and it's starting to look like a boat again. Okay so here's the next thing I want to show you. The transom consists of three components. An inner deck piece that only goes where that shelf sits. An outer deck piece that goes up against the middle and inside that bracket. And then a second piece to reinforce that to make it thick enough to hang on to a little trolling motor or a little gas motor. Now the problem is, deceptively, the back of that boat is not flat. There's a little bit of a curvature to it. So <clears throat> in order to get the pieces to fit well this piece on the inside is just dry fit right now there's no screws then I coated the second piece with water and Gorilla Glue on the inside it's still a little flexible and allowed it to slide into position so then I screwed the outer piece in to put compression into the glue and clamped it into the curvature of the boat with these clamps and let it sit all night so I also screwed in from the side of the bracket because the board wanted to sit out at the bottom so I had to follow the other curvature and have it be up against the boat. So that's going to be a custom custom piece. Now that the Gorilla Glue is set up when I take that off it shouldn't flex much back to where it wanted to be before. It's going to stay that shape. Now all I have to do is find the right kind of stainless steel bolts and figure out where I'm going to put them and run them through all the different pieces and lock it in. And that's going to be ready to go. So we're probably going to um, <clears throat> prime and paint that the same way we are all the benches on the flooring. So today's project is to dry screw the Okay, so here's the next thing I want to show you. The transom consists of three components. An inner deck piece that only goes to where that shelf sits. An outer deck piece that goes up against the middle and inside that bracket. And then a second piece to reinforce that to make it thick enough to hang on to a little trolling motor or a little gas motor. Now the problem is, deceptively, the back of that boat is not flat. There's a little bit of a curvature to it. 
So <clears throat> in order to get the pieces to fit well, this piece on the inside is just dry fit right now. There's no screws. Then I coated the second piece with water and Gorilla Glue on the inside. It's still a little flexible and allowed it to slide into position. So then I screwed the outer piece in to comp put compression into the glue and clamped it into the curvature of the boat with these clamps and let it sit all night. So I also screwed in from the side of the bracket because the board wanted to sit out at the bottom. So I had to follow the other curvature and have it be up against the boat. So that's gonna be a custom, custom piece. Now that the Gorilla Glue is set up, when I take that off, it shouldn't flex much back to where it wanted to be before. It's gonna stay that shape. Now all I have to do is find the right kind of stainless steel bolts and figure out where I'm gonna put them and run them through all the different pieces and lock it in. And that's gonna be ready to go. So we're probably gonna um, <clears throat> prime and paint that the same way we are all the benches and the flooring. The other thing I had to take into consideration when I was dealing with the benches was I started looking at the pile of the old stuff I took out and I realized those two metal aluminum boxes are actually the flotation devices for the boat. So they had to be worked on and sealed up, but they're supposed to be screwed into the bottom of the front and the back bench so that if the boat ever capsizes or gets full of water, it won't just sink to the bottom of the river or the bottom of the lake. So I had to make sure that there was space in the alignment of where I put the bench in regard to those vertical risers and the brackets that when I put those in there it wasn't going to hit it and be sticking out. They had to be covered up and they had to be able to be screwed up into the bottom of those benches. Once I got all that aligned up then I had all I had to do was drill the holes and get everything ready for painting and sanding like the floorboards.